Yes. <clears throat> All right. Um, oh, that's <laughs> okay. Yeah, the plan plan for it. March. Uh, oops. April two, three, two. Okay, take a minute to read the minutes from the nineteenth, and then I'll entertain a motion.
I, I, I feel I'm in my, my within, well within my rights to advocate for this publicly uh, because I'm a citizen of the town. I'm, I'm a, and a, and a voter, and, and I'm quite familiar with the, the nature of the, of the zoning issue at present. Um, to emasculate me and the board that way, I think is totally out of bounds, uh, and quite frankly, probably illegal. Why can't we just get a, a, I mean, if this is an issue with the with people upstairs, why don't we just get a clarification from the attorney? Because he said it would call, God, he would bill me for that inquiry. Well, I just bill the board. Well, then, then what's he saying, that we can't do it? Do what? Is he point blank he's, saying that we can't have the He's using the threat of the cost of litigation to shut me up. We can have, you could discuss anything you want to discuss. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's three proposals out there. It seems to me that we should make it clear to everybody, including ourselves. Well, also. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah, the public hearing will be doing that. And, um, I don't know. MMA could be consulted at no expense. Right. I, 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 I thought they had talked to MMA at some point about some of this stuff. I'm not sure. You know, maybe we ought to have somebody else chair the meeting. That would be fine with me. I don't care. Who might want to do that? Which one, the 16th? The yeah. The 30th? I yeah. Think it was. If it turns out that we have anybody from the public here who wants to, you know, it might make it just that much more palatable to anybody who has an issue with us discussing these. And, it, and if We're not gonna. No. Yeah, my you can say what? Go ahead. My thoughts were to present the article, what it means. Hopefully, I can get the map on um, um, digital, so we can have that up there and explain. If you vote for this, these areas turn that. Go to the next one. If you vote for this, these areas become that. And if you vote for this, it's that. And then go through the, go through all three, because that's gonna be the hardest. Everyone's gonna remember. One does this, one does that, but which one is it? Right. You know, and, so and just if, explaining and, that. And if they can physically see it, I think yeah. that, that'll be a big help. Because right now it's just, you Being know, it's words. in Shoreland or it's not in Shoreland. Right. That's the two big uh, differences. And so what exactly does it mean as far as properties in town? Yeah. And if, we, if it's on the map and if it's something that they can see, then that'll make it a whole lot easier. But I, I think... There's got to be a comparison there. We've got to compare them to the people then. Or at least present them one after the other so that people can understand the difference between them. Yeah, exactly. And the worm's made so people, will, they, they're in an order. It's already made. Yeah. So we can go through. Mm -hmm. This is the first proposal. Right. Uh, select and select and plan board or plan board select and select and however it was. And I think if, if, if we just explain what they are and you know, this is what theirs means, the first two, and this is, we did ours this way, and this is why we did it, and that's it. Uh, we're, we're not going to say that ours is the best way. That's what we don't want to get into. It's levels of deregulation. Right. We're all deregulating. Right. It's just a level of how much. Right. And, you know, we, we like, we presented this one to the town. These two are presented to the town. So take your pick. These are the... This is what it's going to look like if they pass. It's up to you. And that's it. If you start saying that, you know, uh, scientifically, this one's the better than the others, and so on and so forth, and serving the land, and so on and so forth, it's just going to get into a mess. And this is what they were trying to avoid by not making a big deal out of a meeting that's not an official public hearing. So that's all. Um, so the, the, do you honestly think they're going to allow us to have a, a meeting after the 30th? I, I'm sure why not? Why not? Why not? Upstairs I don't see that to discuss this. Well there again, it would have to be on a night other than Thursday right. night. Right. Um, if, well here's the thing, at the public hearing on the 30th, if 
we get a you know a standing room only crowd, and if we have people calling in, then maybe we will have a second hearing. But if we get a half a dozen people and it's the same half a dozen that have been with us all along, what's the point? Um, I just there's two points that, that I think uh, uphold the, the sense of having a meeting preceding the 30th. Number one is. Um, Oh, I thought you were talking after the 30th. Well, I'm, I'm talking both. Um, number one is that I think there's some uh, poking at these questions that would develop some questions of our own pertaining to how what the, uh, 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 ramifications are if they're implemented. Um, uh, and I'll ask one to Ken after I'm finished here. The other one. And, and those are only found, those kind of questions are only found by discussion and, and in, input from the public. And uh, uh, it's happened to us, you know, not unusual at all that we'll get a, a question from the public hearing that we never thought of and, and it casts the, uh, the proposal in a different light. Sure, and, absolutely. And, and we have to kind of go back and say, well, that's a good valid point. Maybe we ought to, you know, Fold that into our thinking. Well, these are already uh, written. These, these can't know, change anymore. That, and that's too bad. But, um, to that point, uh, I think it is fair on behalf of our asking for uh, additional hearings is the fact that I think we, when, when we developed question three, um, it was developed on a timeline uh, that fit their demands for uh, everything to be in by the 29th or something in January. But, and we met that day. Um, and then following that, you and I did a little uh, research in terms of the abatement question to see uh, how we were going to recommend, if we are allowed to make a recommendation on the selectman's proposal, um, questions one and two. Uh, we had to make an informed recommendation, and the only way to do that was to go through this uh, inquiry uh, pertaining to the assessments or the abatements that had been uh, granted pertaining to uh, wetlands. But that was the claim I, I thought that was being made at the meeting on uh, February 19th, I guess it was our workshop. Did, did they say that they had made abatements because people had said, uh, hey, I can't use my land now because of, you know, the yeah, I'm not sure. Well, that was inferred. I mean, that isn't it? I know that. I know. Ted's and abatements was the root of it. So when, when, anyway, when we when we found out that that had no basis, in fact, uh, I I started to think, well, geez, maybe, maybe we we've been reacting to something here that has not panned out to to be uh, uh, factually correct. And um, uh, I quite frankly think probably the, the selectmen hadn't checked on it either. Um, and so when it turned out that the five that were in question, the five abatement requests that were in question, none of those involved wetlands. They were all sh uh, in the shoreland zone and three of them, I went through this last time, three of them were adjustments to the uh, shorefront length measure. One was an unfinished building where the assessor had to come back when the building was completed. And I think the fifth one was a, a, a road frontage uh, correction. Um, so we were acting on uh, information that was not um, correct. And when I reflect on the process that we've gone through and the questions that are in front of us, I, I personally am thinking the correct way to proceed here would be to just uh, uh, say no to the questions one, two, and three, and let the process of, of uh, if there is indeed valid legal opposition to this, issues of takings where the, where the assessor feels that he has to uh, start handing money across the table to people because they're, they're um, degree to which they want to develop their land has been impinged upon to such a degree that um, 
an abatement is, is valid, then I think maybe it would be it would be proper for us to reconsider our uh, the language in the ordinance and maybe make a change. But at this point in time, there has been, besides the, the cases that Kenny shared with us, of people that have come into him in the office and said, you know, I want to do something over here, and Ken has told them, well, you're getting into a wetland or something. Um, but even when we held our public hearing, and uh, a number of uh, gentlemen who we've seen in the past came in, and uh, on reflection, the new work that was implemented in September 11th of 2009, no, September 11, 2000, uh, September 29, 2011, that new work that delineated the wetland buffers, um, that impacted none of those uh, gentlemen that came before us at our own public hearing. That the, the conditions that were existing on the ground and maybe not graphically represented as so at the time were existent uh, were probably when they bought their land. Um, it, it, it preceded any implementation that we did uh, pertaining to the, the new work, so-called, uh, that we're uh, discussing with these uh, amendments. Uh, you talk about the people who were here at the public hearing? Yes, Okay. at our, at our public hearing. Well, you know, the easiest thing to do is we can always vote to pull our proposal back, if that's what you want to do. I don't know that the selectmen are going to vote to pull theirs back, but we certainly could. If if you don't, you know, if you don't think it's necessary, take it out. Well, that would be, that's just my opinion. That's something for the board to decide. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think ours is the best of three years. I mean, I don't think any of us should pass, but I but I think it's the best of the three. I hate to think that if, if there's going to be a ballot, that we would not think about taking ours off. You know, I think, it, it, I think the more um, wise course, I agree with Bob, that would be to, to hopefully uh, do some education between now and, and the day of voting and inform the public as best we can, which doesn't seem to, it seems to be a little limited now, but um, to inform the public as best we can of uh, what these three questions are about and and how they might impact the town of um, To withdraw the question, uh, I think that gives some validity to the first two questions that are, is unwarranted. That may be, but you know, if you think it was it was all based on wrong assumptions, you know, I don't know. Well, uh, I don't know if you. Uh, it's just, it's too bad that this selectmen are not uh, willing to come down and talk with us about this too. Um, these are important issues. Claim of the claim of bias that is being leveled at me, um, I'm used to that. Um, we don't have to get into personal stuff. No, I, I just I want to. Uh, I think it's important for us to understand the notion between what bias is and what uh, the legitimate right to hold an opinion is. If if a public official holds an opinion on something which is uh, is generic in nature, uh, as these three questions are. They don't involve individuals per se running for office or, or an individual application that is in front of the board. Um, they impact the whole town, so there should be a level playing field of how any citizen in town, regardless of his membership on a board, in this case the planning board, uh, should not uh, muzzle uh, free and fair discussion here. Right, but these three proposals I, un I understand that. Don't all go down the same road. 
And that's where there's an issue. And you do realize at the public hearing, we'll, answer, we'll explain what's going on. Hopefully Kenny will have the stuff there. Show them on the board and take their questions. And if anyone on the board wants to say one of these is better than another and tell the crowd why, you're going to have to go down to the front and do it. You can't do it as part of the planning board because that's not what we're doing. That's not the way we've done it. We're not going to do it that way this time. You have a point to make other than, you know, here's three proposals, then you go down to the podium like everybody else in the public. But, but we can't differentiate between the one that we proposed as opposed to two. Down in front, audit. yes, down in front, up at the table. Yeah, we'll say this is the, this is the first one would entail this. Mm -hmm. The second one would entail this. The third one would entail this. Any well, questions? But that's not stating which one we That's have right. And, uh, well, it's, it says right on the thing, the planning board proposal number three. So then why can't we di differentiate that in the discussion from the table? Because we're advocating right. one over another then. What's that? We're advocating one over another, and we don't do that. We haven't done it before, and we're not going to start now. If you want to advocate one of them, you go down and speak from the podium like everybody else. Okay. Because there may be people on the planning board now that either don't like our proposal anymore or would rather have another one. Mm -hmm. So you're speaking as a private individual once you say, I like this one. I, I guess I'm having a difficult time um, getting the fact that we as a planning board are being coerced into presenting three proposals. No, no, no. We're, no, we're not being coerced into anything. Anytime there's a zoning change, mm -hmm. the planning board holds the public hearing. Get it? It doesn't matter if the little house on the prairie has uh, something on the thing that they want to have changed. It doesn't matter if the selectmen propose an ordinance. It doesn't matter if uh, some guy down the street gets enough signatures and proposes something. Mm -hmm. Or if we bring it to the town, our own selves. Any zoning changes have to be presented to the town at a public hearing. That is run by the planning board. But. So, but there's three different proposals, mm -hmm. and they all don't follow one after the other. Right. One is different from the other two. And we'll explain what the differences are, and that's it. We're not going to say that number two is better than number one and three. Yeah. And we're not going to say three is better than two and one, or that one's better than two and three. I we're going to lay the facts out. If you want to say that one's better than two and three, then you go down to the podium. Yeah, but I'm not necessarily saying that we say one is better than two or one is better than three. I'm just indicating that I think we should be able to say that this is the one that through discussion and through work at a number of meetings, we have deemed to be the one that we want to bring forward. That doesn't mean that we're not, there's not going to be others. It is the one we brought forward. But it's only saying that on a little piece of paper, we can't verbally reiterate We can that. certainly say that this is the one that we devise. I know it's that's, yeah. that's what I'm talking you about. Right 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 it sounds right. right. If, if there was some guy down the street who was going to get enough signatures to present something for an ordinance change, that person, maybe not by name, but wouldn't that be stated during the public hearing that this was presented yes. from. So then why isn't it that we're saying that the selectmen are the ones who said these other two? It says it right on the ballot, right on the piece of paper. It says so so I'm hearing you say that we can't make that statement in the discussion that we have. Well, of course we can. Yeah, I think when we read well, the we just can't say, it. mine's better than yours. Oh, I can't. I'm not even asking that. I misunderstood that if that if you're saying that's okay, well, of course it's okay. Clear that with people that this is the one that the board is. You've seen this, haven't you? No. You don't have one. Well, 
Chip, I think somebody should oh, this take, is the same thing. Yes. take a little bit of time just to explain the difference between like resource protection inside the shoreline zone and resource protection that's, outside yes, the shoreline that's zone what for clarification. Like, that's I definitely what think some discussion is warranted on. Well, that's how we're going to explain. That's how we're going to explain what right. each one entails, and yeah. you know, and but if there's a map, it's a lot easier to see. Yeah. This is inside resource protection. This is outside of uh, shoreland. Yeah. So we no. can say what it is, but if we can show them something physical, then they yeah. can see it. Have you heard Visually. from anyone upstairs that they are going to come back and show us? Um, the potential number of people who are impacted and would have their taxes I changed. He said he was going to do that when we had that meeting upstairs with the attorney. I the last I haven't talked to them recently about that, but that was my understanding that, that if they if the assessor can get numbers together, they were going to bring that that was going to be available to public hearing. Any information, any and all information they have. By the 30th, it's going to be there. Well, that's not Excuse me. I'm going to be upset. Pardon me? I mean, if that's not there, you know, I don't care about the fact that the assessor might not have enough time. He's had two months to okay. figure it out. Um, when, when Ted said that he would do it, to my question, if he doesn't do it, that's, that to me would be upsetting, especially with what Tom has said, that nobody so far has gotten any abatements because of this potential change. It was not a potential change. The change was made. No, no. Yeah. I mean, the potential change is, you know, uh, as a result of this vote. I, what I'm saying is, it, 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 if, it, if they said that there have been abatements already, and now we're seeing that maybe there has not been any abatements, and number two, if he's saying that he's going to bring us the information to show the potential of how many people, and then he doesn't show us that. I mean, I, I just feel that that's well, well, not right. We can ask them again if that stuff's going to be ready, because they've still got a whole month now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, if it isn't, then hopefully there'll be a, a, a good reason for it. But, but I... I, I wasn't at the meeting that you guys had with the selectmen last month or the month before. So I can't speak of it, but I don't recall before that anybody saying that abatements had been given because of people whose property they wouldn't, they couldn't use it to the full extent that they thought they could because of the zoning change we, we did in 2011. I don't recall anyone saying that they had, I can't there had to been abatements. But I certainly was led to believe that that's what was said. I'd have to go back and look at a, a tape. Yeah, yeah. Which you've got, right? Yes. I, I was hoping you had time to look at that. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't pick it up. I mean, it, do you guys have? Well, the the, do I don't know what the schedule is. <laughs> no, it's on Facebook. You can, well, you can I, do I don't do that. Well, he whips it out like he's got Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife can help you with it. You do? Oh, it's, it's, oh, it is? It's, uh, it's not yeah, we should have a, I don't watch these videos. <coughs> we, should have a, How long was it? we should have a movie night. It was pretty short. We can fast forward it. Like, what was we put it outside and put it on the side. I was listening on YouTube. Um, if you... What you actually have to do is, if you go into actinmain.org... Yeah, yeah. Down the left, there's an APAT yeah. click link. You click into there, and then when you get there, it's a page, and you click on videos, and it gives you all the videos of the whole library, and it's right there. They're, they're in order by date. So it's really on the website, it's, or do, do they put those on YouTube? Well, it's a, it's a YouTube link is what it is. When you oh. click in there, you're actually flipping over to YouTube. You can go oh, to YouTube okay. and find I thought it was like, you know, cable TV channel 26. I'll send you an email. <laughs> don't, don't do that, because I don't, I just trash all the emails. <laughs> um, you got that, you trolls? <laughs> <laughs> you trash Bob, the, the, Anyway, the one, so. Okay, go ahead. No. Um, the one problem I have with that is that puts us back in the same situation we were on February 19th. 
evaluating the input we got from that workshop. There's no time to validate it. We don't know how to, you know, how to weigh it. It's, it's a relation to or lack thereof mm -hmm. to, to the questions at hand. That, that's what bothers me about limiting us to one uh, hearing on this. Um, nine days after that hearing on the 30th, the absentee ballots are available sometime very soon well, thereafter. I still don't understand what the reason is that we can't have a second hearing, no. Well, it's it's not we can have. have. I don't understand. Uh, would it be the same reason that he's prohibiting us to have one on the 16th? He's not prohibiting us. He just isn't going to advertise it. Well, that was the impression that we wouldn't. Uh, oh, wouldn't let us talk about it? Yeah, we're talking about it now. Yeah, I'm sure we can talk about it. Um, but we can't invite. There's the no reason that we can't have more public hearings. But there again, let's see what happens on the 30th. If a dozen people show up, you know, well, you can have 50 public hearings. It's not going to help you. Well, if people bit. aren't well informed, they're not going to show up. It's going to be everything we're advertising on the 30th. Having an informational meeting on the 16th is going to inform people that haven't already seen uh, posting or on uh, the TV channel. Or two days is more likely one of the two days would work for someone that's just one day. And well, oh, I'm doing this. I'm if doing this, if the they can't make it on the 30th, then we can have another one. Our next, me our next meeting, which was the first meeting in May. We can have one then if you want. Yeah. We can, we can say that, our, that our, if the public hearing is an overflow crowd, it's going to go on all night, we continue it to our first meeting in May then. We can, you so know. I still don't understand it. Understand what? I and mean, why we wouldn't want to inform the public about such an important issue. We are going to, we are informing the public. Anybody who watches this knows all about it. We're going to, as soon as the advertising gets out there, is it in the papers yet? Is it going to be for the it third week? It will be in the Journal Tribune this weekend. Um, it's in the Smart Shop of the week after, the Journal Tribune the week after that, and the Smart Shop of the week after that. So it's in two publications twice. And we did have the initial public hearing before we voted on this back in the first part of January. So anybody in town who is the least bit interested about this topic has should have known about it because it's been out there for the last few months. Anybody who happens to, who doesn't have a life and watches this, why is it the last then, meeting the three weren't posted on the website? Have they been posted now? Uh, the thirtieth. Uh, what I would they start if advertising the that. Three questions. I haven't been posted on the website. Not, it's not until they accept this and approve it, then they can't post this. They have. If it's, if it's they, they've accepted it and approved it. Well, then, then maybe it's on the website. I don't know. I don't Is it on the website, website right now? I haven't been on the website. Well, that's true. Right. Well, yeah, several times not, for it to be put on the website so people can access it and see what they're going to a hearing regarding. It's not. I don't know that it's you that common it. sense, it's so still it's 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 been clear. Yeah, it's Jennifer that puts this on, not us. Yeah, and they, and they haven't been signed and attested by her yet. These copies haven't been. No. Well, we can post other things on the website, though, without the selectman's permission now. Can, can we make a request to Jennifer? Can we post this thing? Okay, sir. Yeah. Sure. There's no reason why it shouldn't be posted. We can go up and ask her tonight. Just seems a little. We got here before it is. I'm not trying to tie up time, it's just They're ready. It's hard to comprehend. Uh, well but I, the I, whole problem is the planning board is advocating one of these proposals and is against the other two. And that the well, selectmen don't like that have the proposition. Well they Perhaps don't they don't like the way it's being happening. Uh, well, don't we do that in the past? Sometimes I'm sure there's other articles going on. You're never going to you're not gonna have people coming three different. I'm not nights. saying we do it. I'm saying it could have been done. Oh, you know? done. 
when this was implemented, we had we had three full public hearings. I know, I know, and I'm the one that advocate who pushes all these damn public hearings. <laughs> just, I, I, I would make a suggestion just to hopefully smooth the waters a little bit on this and, and lower everybody's uh, uh, voices. Um, that doesn't help anybody uh, or anything. Um, I would suggest maybe to the board of selectmen that, that uh, they be present uh, on the 16th and they speak on behalf of their proposal and uh, we would speak to question three. Um, that way the, the issue of uh, the right to hold an opinion or, or being biased is, is it's balanced out if there is a need valid claim of bias, I still look, would like to separate out the notion of bias from the rightful uh, ability to hold an opinion. I think they're, they're going... You can hold an opinion, but... I mean, we know what... You're not going to... I don't know. You can't advocate for it? Not sitting here at the table, you can't, no. You can advocate for what you want, in the front, like everybody else, at a public hearing. Well, I mean, See, this is a different deal. We've never had a deal like this before where you've got... And, and that's why it's, it's creating problems. Uh, it's because we're not... Some people aren't happy with all three of these. As rational beings, there seems to... Uh, there ought to be a way to, to work through this. And, and, uh, there is, the public hearing on the 30th. That's the best you're going to get. If they didn't come down tonight, they're not going to come down on the 16th. Kenny, would you have the ability to take the maps that you're going to have for that public hearing and put those on the website so that people who are looking at it um, at least have something to go back and say, oh, okay, that's how this, this is what this means. If we're going to better explain it at the meeting, if, you know, if the ability is there. Well, what most people care about is their lot. Yeah. And when we had the public hearings on the shoreland zoning, it was generic and said, come and talk to us outside of the meeting and we can sit down and really say how does this affect me and deal with individual property uh, rights or, or uses one by one by one. Because in a public hearing, especially if you've got standing room only more than a dozen, people only really care about their lot. Mm -hmm. You know, how does this affect me? And, and that's probably not the right areas in the public hearing. They'll come in on their own time by time and sit down and we can go through it that, um, and again, all three are deregulating. Right, but how about the person who is not impacted at all by this, um, yet plans on voting, but is maybe a little unsure as to, okay, so how do I figure this all out? And you know, why should I vote yes to something or no to something? If that person were to go on website and be able to see the explanation that we're going to attempt to try and show at the public hearing, is it possible to take those maps and then just put them into onto the website so people could it's possible it? i don't have the authority if they said yeah go ahead and put it on oh i see okay so it's something to do with that i see yeah. what you're saying so hopefully we'll get the maps digitalized uh, electronically so we can use them during the public hearing and be able to are there going to be uh, printouts of those that's pretty tough to see this. yeah the warrants would be there if we print it down to this size it, you, you're not going to make see. anything out that's why I don't think that on, on the internet you'll be able to get a big enough scale. Mm -hmm. We can zoom in on the thing. Uh, if, if it's got that capability, get, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. That, I'm trying to get an overall picture. So, uh, I'm not sure. Right. You can get a handle on how many resource protection areas there are outside the shoreline zone. No, we're looking at the small map. Thing. You can get some idea from that. Oh, yeah, 160 or something. There's quite a few of them. You can get that long. Right, exactly. So you can get that impression from looking at the small map. Um, Kevin, I had a question you know, of interpretation of how, how you think question number one. Um, what is that going to do to small wetlands outside of the shoreland zone uh, in terms of um, what would be the, is there any buffer left around those, those wetlands below 10 acres? 
and in everything else. Outside actually. of the shoreline? Yeah. No. Okay. So, so I would go back to state regulations, but the state regulates. 75 feet septic. septic would it be like a best, yeah, best management practice kind of thing? Yeah. What would the building, uh, under those provisions, what would the building setback be from a, a plant edge of a on, on something below yeah. 10 acres? I don't think there would be one. I don't think so either. Yeah, so the only thing that would impinge upon is the septic problem. Well, the, the, nobody's going to want to build down in the swamp if they can build up higher. Yeah. They're going to be right. in the better soils, better areas, better lands. Right. I mean, it's going to be only if they're driven down to that area. Right. Um. So you, would, you wouldn't really treat an applicant too much different, say they were doing forestry operation or something, you wouldn't. What would you say to them about the, that the say was, you know, the district deregulated or what have you, what would you mention to them about those areas, anything? Well, you can only hope to encourage them for best management practices. Well, you'd still mention it to them and if they came in, yeah. If they yeah. came in, right. But you'd probably be able to build a road or something like that out there and uh, timber harvest, things like that. Right. Hard to do that. But it, it, the main threshold yeah. would be a 75 foot setback from uh, of the septic from the upland edge of the land. That would be the major hurdle that they would yeah. And if they liked alligators or something, they could build right next to <laughs> Okay. Anything else? Um, so, is there any? Notion of maybe someone else chairing the meeting on the 16th and our having. Yeah, see if we can t t twist Kenny's arm to have him do it. Or I You know, a disinterested would party. Be, would you chair that meeting? I can't even say that I'd, I'd be here. I mean, not, I'd be physically here, but I mean, we may not even be members if everybody's here. Is it open? What do you mean? Well, well I yeah, if everyone's here, we probably wouldn't do it. Somewhere. You mean they're going to shoot us? No, no. <laughs> yeah. no we, we, we wouldn't be active voting voting members. Voting members. Uh, right. We wouldn't even be active members. It would probably be easier if Kenny did. I'm lost. What? He's an alternate. We're, uh, we're, because Gavin and I are alternates. Oh. We're only... I, I don't think there's out. a problem with an associate member running a meeting, though. Yeah. I, think, I think we, we just... I know we've done it in the past, and I don't think... Yeah, it's you can't be a, a you can't be the chairman if you're an associate. But you, there's no reason you couldn't run a meeting. Um, it still is the hurdle of advertising. The fact that it would be a, a, an item on on the new business on the agenda, on the new business, a, a discussion of the three proposed zoning ordinances. Yeah, I think Chip's right. If two people show up, you're not going to get twice as many the next time. But if it's standing room only, then that, that may justify more informational ways. Um, but while we're here, does anybody else see any points that need to be, that are unclear in terms of question uh, one, two, and three, besides that little thing that I raised? that might need clarification in the context of a public hearing so as not to be stumbling around for Well, time. don't go into the weeds with, with the kind of stuff you were just talking to Ken about because no one's going to understand that. Well, that, I think, was, that was a very simple question. Well... No, I don't see any weedy, uh, other weedy questions. Okay. That didn't have any weeds on it. <laughs> it was nothing but weeds. No, no, no. It's, I mean, you didn't know the answer to that. You're right, I didn't. Okay, well then... <laughs> Must have been clear as water. I didn't want to. Anything else? So, what is the notion of the 16th? Uh, go ahead and have a meeting. Read the minutes. And what new business is there? Discussion of the three uh, ballot proposals. 
See what happens. Oh, we're going to have three additional people here who have who missed out on tonight. And right, they're going to be sorry. They have questions. <laughs> would you, would you, would you well, that's what I mean. Would you we'll have a process discussion. Would you email them? Would you email them when you get home? How to view this meeting? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 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 See you on the 16th. Oh, don't forget everybody. Show up. It'll be fun. I won't.